good day viewers and subscribers welcome back to my channel this is girls connection the world connection please remember to subscribe like and share also click the notification bell to receive daily news updates locally and internationally females gone missing after going in search of hotel jobs in st james A search has been launched for two females who reportedly left their homes in two separate parishes between last Saturday and Monday to seek jobs at hotels in St. James but have, but have not been heard from since. Police investigators have joined loved ones in their search for at least one of the missing women. She is Stephanie Murray of Palmetto Grove near Highgate in St. Mary. The 27-year-old has been missing since Saturday, March 16, after leaving home for an interview at a hotel in Montego Bay, which was later proven to be non-existent. According to the police, Murray is of brown complexion, slim built, and is about 165 centimeters, that's 5 feet 5 inches tall. Reports from the Port Mary police are that Murray left home about 9.30 a.m. for Montego Bay St. James for a job interview. When last seen, she was dressed in a black blouse, floral pants, and a pair of black shoes. All efforts to contact her since then have been unsuccessful. One of Murray's sister revealed that her sister had received information about an employment opportunity at Moonlight Hotel in Montego Bay. However, the sister contacted Murray, who told her that she found out that the hotel was not in existence. She has not been heard from since then, as calls to her two cell phones have gone unanswered. Lawmen, on Thursday night, through an official release, appealed to anyone knowing the whereabouts of Tiffany Murray to contact the Port Mario Police at 876-994-2223, the Police 119 emergency number, or the nearest police station. Meanwhile, several posts on Facebook have revealed that another female has allegedly gone missing after she journeyed to St. James from Manchester on Monday, March 18. She has been identified as 23-year-old Felicia Tyndale of Grove Place, Mandeville. Tyndale was last seen wearing a black camisole, black jacket, and black jeans. Reports on social media from friends of Tyndale are that she left home on Monday to meet a man in Montego Bay who had reportedly assured her that he could get her employed at a popular hotel there. She reportedly called home the same day informing a relative that she had arrived safely, but she has not been seen or heard from since then. Relatives and friends are urging persons who have any information on the whereabouts of Tyndale to contact the nearest police station or 119. An official release from the police about the disappearance of Felicia Tyndale was not been released up to the time of this publication. Oftentimes, you know, we see persons asking us to share posts, to share news, and sometimes because it's not a relative of yours or anybody that you know, no friend, no neighbor, you decide to say, oh, you just read it and put it aside, not knowing what good it can do just one share. I am asking you from Girls Connection on the behalf of these two young ladies and their family members, please to share this video so anyone knowing their whereabouts or just the fact that you see these girls' faces, if you see them in the street or you have seen them anywhere at all, you can say, well, yes, I've seen her and you can call the numbers given. Please share the video. You understand this one share can save the lives of these two young women. Remember, this is Girls Connection, the world connection. Please remember to subscribe, like, and share. Also, leave a comment in the comment section down below. Thank you.